Hi, my name is Leanne Livermore, and I'm one of the clinical faculty teaching pediatrics here at San Francisco State University. Today I want to go over the um, math that we use specifically in pediatrics to help you prepare for your metrology test. Um, working with kids is a lot more challenging in math than adults because we must take adult um, dosages and figure out what is safe to give our children. So I'm going to go over various topics that you will be tested on in your metrology test and on the follow-up orientation day I will answer any questions that you may have. So today we're going to specifically talk about conversions um, that we use in math, calculating fluid requirements because children are a greater percentage of water to body mass the younger they are, so they need more fluids the smaller they are if they are NPO. Um, calculating safe dosages, both the minimum and the maximum allowed concentrations um, to give those doses in. And how to calculate the minimum infusion rate, how quickly can you give a medication. And finally, calculating percentage of weight loss. This is important because children who present to the hospital dehydrated need to have special fluid replacement and we need to figure out exactly how dehydrated they are and how much fluid they're going to need to get back to their normal state. Um, the most important thing to remember in pediatrics is that everything is based on the metric system. So all of our medications, the weight is based on kilograms. So one of the most important conversions that you need to remember is how do we convert pounds to kilograms. One kilo is equal to 2.2 pounds. So we're going to buy pounds by 2.2 in order to convert to the metric system. So an example, if we have a child who is nine pounds, it's going to be nine divided by 2.2. Our patient weighs 4.09 kilos. Now, in pediatrics and for the metrology test, we usually carry it two places to the right of the decimal. You can round up to 4.1 kilos. Okay. Another conversion is we need to remember milliliters to ounces because sometimes parents ask, well, how many ounces do I give? Um, so remember that um, we have 30 milliliters is one ounce. Um, ounces to milliliters. Let's say I have four ounces. The patient drank a four ounce glass of juice. We need to enter that in our electronic medical record in milliliters. Four times 30, so four ounces, is equal to 120 milliliters. Um, milliliters to liters, milla, milli, in Latin is a thousand. So there is 1,000 milliliters in one liter. Milliliters to teaspoons. Maybe if you're a cook, you are um, knowledgeable that um, there are three teaspoons in one tablespoon, and that there are two tablespoons to one ounce. And we already know that there are 30 milliliters in an ounce. If there's two tablespoons to an ounce, one tablespoon is 15 milliliters. And three
three teaspoons in a tablespoon, that must be, if we divide three, we have 15 divided by three. There are five milliliters in one teaspoon. Okay? That's many steps there. Milligrams to grams. Again, a milligram. We have a thousand milligrams. One gram. If we are given two grams, I need to multiply that by a thousand. I have two thousand milligrams in a two gram dose. Milliliters to tablespoons. Um, let me have uh, somebody say, um, we have 45 milliliters, but the parents need to know how many tablespoons to give. Remember, a tablespoon is 15 milliliters. 45 milliliters is three tablespoons. Ounces to tablespoons, we already did that down here, I got ahead of myself. One ounce, which is 30 milliliters which is two tablespoons, because there's 15 milliliters in a tablespoon. And kilograms to pounds, when you will need to do this is when you admit your patient and we weigh the patient in kilos and the parents want to know, well, how much does my baby weigh in pounds? We actually are going to, instead of divide by 2.2, we're going to multiply. So if I have a um, 15 kilo child, I will tell the parents that their child weighs 33 pounds. So, the most important thing to remember is always look at what you're being asked to work with. My students have problems in if they quickly glance over and they misread milligram for gram. Because some, you know, milligram can be abbreviated this way and gram sometimes is, is abbreviated that way. So just be very careful that you read the question appropriately. One last example that um, my students sometimes get confused on is when we have to deal with decimal points. So if I have 0 0.05 grams, how many milligrams is that? I'm going to multiply by a thousand. So I'm going to move my decimal point one, two, and add one three places. So it is equal to 50 milligrams. One, two, yes. Okay? So just um, practice your conversions and commit them to memory because you'll need that for the test.